Peace, everybody. This is Colo with another sneakerhead video. Today we have an interesting one. We have the Jordan 5 Off White, which is scheduled to release sometime in February of 2020. The shoe I have right now comes from Hype Kicks. It is considered a replica from them. Um, just to clear it up, I don't condone selling or distributing fake sneakers. This video is 100% for educational purposes, so let's, let's see what we got right here. So pulling these out, we have the off-white box and bubble wrap. These things came in DHL shipping as usual. I'm not sure if the box is really gonna look like this. It's, it's been unconfirmed at this point. If you don't know anything about off-white, it was created by a guy named Virgil Abloh. He was the original creator of a brand called Pyrex Vision in 2012. And then he started the brand Off-White in 2013. And currently he's making shoes that look like this. He worked with Kanye West back in the day and now he's doing his thing with Louis Vuitton. But anyway, so this is what the box looks like. Um, to me, it looks pretty good. Here's some of the closer details of the Jumpman embossment. Looking at the tag on there, it shows that these are black muslin fire red is what they're calling them not sure if that's going to be the official colorway they're going to print on the boxes moving forward but i don't know on this side we have the gold embossment and the typical nike tag on there again to me all of these details are unconfirmed i don't know what they're doing in china but i i don't know very much about these so i'm, I'm bringing these to you guys so in the future when they do come out you can come back to this video and compare them we got the gold jump in there which which looks really good so let's go ahead and get these opened up so we can see what we have here all right right off the bat you can see there's a pair of red laces similar to like the, i guess the travis scott's it says shoelaces on them um go ahead and take a look at the bag the sizing of the bag and that sort of things i know that's a big deal when you're um, comparing these to an authentic pair and I've been seeing pictures with these shoes coming with actually white laces. I didn't get any white laces, but I don't know if this is even an original picture. And notice how there's actually holes where the holes are. There's no covering. All right, let's keep going and let's get these things out of the box and get some comparisons. Um, so looking at them right here, they kind of have a, a grayish color. But when I'm in the sun, they look like they are bluish. The, the feel of the material is really different. I've never had a Jordan Retro that feels this way. It's almost kind of an ab abrasive type of material. Um, you see the black shoelaces with shoelaces on them there. The typical white tissue paper that comes in the boxes. Again, all of this is unconfirmed educational purposes, so just roll with me. It has that green whitey M little tag there. I'm not sure what that really means, but I've been seeing more and more of it. So let's take a closer look at these. I mean, looking at them from this angle, they look pretty good. Again, I'm not condoning these as a real pair of off-white Jordan 5s, of course. And personally, I would never pay a resale price for any off-white sneaker. If I were to catch them at retail, that's different. But I would never pay retail um, reseller prices for these. If you are interested at this point in the video, feel free to head over to hypekicks.com. They have them right now for 170 and you can use my discount code to get a discount on them. Shout out to Hypes Kicks, they're nice enough to send me a pair to do this video. Looking at the bottoms here, Virgil made these pre-yellowed so you don't have to worry about those yellowing over time. And the Nike right there is actually translucent as well, I think that's a nice touch. The back has the traditional Nike Air branding and a kind of a gray stitching. And in pictures I have seen that in white as well. Looking at the toe box here, I can immediately tell there's some type of wrinkly creasing there. And I haven't even tested these or wore these yet, so that's a little that's a little suspect. On the side panels, it says Off-White for Nike Jordan 5, Beaverton, Oregon, USA, 1990. And on the other shoe, it says the same thing, it's just in a different position. Here's a look at the back of both of them, but let's kind of concentrate on these, these holes that they put on the sneaker. Um, I've been looking on the web and I've seen pictures of these with the holes like I showed you earlier. It's completely see-through or there's no netting over the holes. Um, so I'm, I'm not really sure about that. I think it's a nice touch. It's really different, but I can't confirm if this is how they're going to be once they release in February. They've added the classic Jordan 23 stitching onto the side, which 
to me looks okay on this particular pair, but again, I don't have an original pair to com compare to. Let's move on to the tongue. The tongue on these are really big. I'm not sure if it's this particular pair from Hype Kicks or if it's just the way they're designed, but it's really big, it's bold. Of course, they're reflective. Um, one tongue actually has a hole in it and the other one doesn't. But these, these, are, these, are, these are loud. And I've always liked the reflective tongue on the Jordan 5. Here's a quick look at some light on the tongue to make them reflect or pop or whatever you want to call it. But they're, they're bright. It works. Here's one of the zip tie tags that they love to put on almost, I guess, all the all off-white sneakers. And they only put it on one of the sneakers. Looking at this Air Jordan tag, that's pretty traditional. That's also, I think, on the fours as well. So go ahead and take a close look at the stitching there. It looks okay. Again, this video is future proof, so when these do come out, come back and compare your authentics to this replica pair. Looking at the insole here, we have a sticker on it. I'm not sure what that means, and there's Nike Air branding on it. Flipping it over to the back side, I think. Wh oh, wait a minute. Okay. It says 10.5 to 11.5, and I've been seeing that consistently on Yeezys, Jordans. I don't know why it's out of size when this is a men's size US 10. Here is the inside with the insole out. I don't know what that number means inside of there. I'm just trying to provide as much detailed information as possible. Here's a little lace locks. I really don't like these things. They make tying up the shoe a little weird for me the way I wear them. So I probably won't be putting this back on. It has Nike Air, well, Nike branding on it. And you can tell it's a little off-white, pun intended, or kind of a faded yellow look to it, which is pretty cool. Shoelaces with shoelaces written on them or stamped on them. Good job, Hypes Kicks, for getting that on there, paying the close attention to detail. I don't know if that's too big, too small at this point, but we will have to wait till February to see. Try to get a look at the sizing tag inside of the shoe. I can tell there's a little QR code there. This is a little difficult to film sometimes, but it's there. This is the shoe tree. You can see all the little details on it. So we'll have to wait to see that says, what, 10.5 to 12? Okay. I guess the one thing that really bothers me about these is that wrinkled up toe box right there. I just can't get over that. So that's all the details I have or I can think of. Let's move on to the on feet section. So as you guys know, on feet is my favorite part of the video because it's actually the easiest part of the video, even though I do feel really weird every time I'm outside modeling because I'm not a model and I didn't have a chance to pick out an outfit for these, but they will pretty much go with any kind of pants, black, dark blue, khaki, camouflage. Um, so you could probably go crazy with these. There's not too many styling challenges, if you were to wear different color socks, you could definitely see it through the holes there. Um, here's what they look like from a looking down at your feet perspective. That's always really important to me. If it doesn't look good when I look down, I can't really wear them. Um, so I wanted to give you guys some shots in direct sunlight. And later on, I'll be going indoors to give you an indoor perspective. Again, I try to give you guys as much detailed perspectives of sneakers in these videos so you have all the information that you need if you want to purchase these or hold off and try your luck at the off-whites coming out i personally will probably be wearing these when i'm filming videos for clients and when you're filming videos for clients you don't want to pay attention to your shoes i'm always creasing them kneeling down stepping in mud stepping in dirt you got to do those kind of things so these will actually be perfect for me when i'm out in the field making other videos for people or vlogging so that's pretty much a wrap guys kind of gave you every angle of the sneaker possible again these are not out yet head over to hypekicks.com if you would like to purchase a pair again i don't condone passing replicas uas one of ones whatever you want to call them i don't pass those off as real sneakers or sell them typically i just give them away when they're sent to me or i just kind of wear them again for filming purposes but if you made it this far in the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up love you guys Peace to all my sneaker heads. Peace to all my non-sneaker heads that are just checking this video out to support. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well if you'd like to send me any type of business inquiries or ask me questions about the products or shoes. At the end of the day, buy what you want to buy, wear what you want to wear. In all reality, they're just something that protects your feet from walking on the ground. So that's it. Peace and love from Colorado and I'm out.